Hello friends, welcome back to the Node-RED tutorial series. So in the last video we saw how we can install Node-RED on the PLC using Docker and Container. But nowadays there are PLCs which are coming up with Node-RED pre-installed where we need to utilize the Node-RED and the nodes to configure it and then use it for our purpose on the IoT side. So in this particular tutorial I am using Wedmiller PLC. So let's see how we can start. So in order to start we first need to log in by connecting to the web uh, URL and then it will show us what all the add-ons are pre-installed. So if you can see it already has the node red, OPC UA, Modbus TCP, Docker and Mulin uh, remote access. So we will go to the device in order to configure all the hardware. So when we go to the device, it will show which hardware is connected. So in this one, we are using uh, MUC20. Uh, so here we can configure the RTD. So first card configure is RTD. So we need to define the channels and configure it for which kind of measurement range we want it. In the program, we can program. In the global variable, we need to define all the global variable and the visualization, we can show all the visualization part. So let's first define the global variable where we will define a variable with data type as integer and map it to the RTD channel so that we can read directly the values on this particular variable. So if you see in the mapping part, we can select which channel we want to map it. So as we have configured only channel zero, so I'm mapping it to channel zero and then we can deploy. So once we deploy the code, then we can see on the channel zero that data is com coming from the physical setup. So we have RTD connected and from there the data is coming. Now by default, uh, we also have in webmail option to write the program in the function block diagram editor. So this is an example I'm showing here where we can, without node -read also we can write the program. And later we will go to the node -read part also how the same thing we can do it in the node -read. So I'm just writing a small program to uh, read the data and uh, compare it with the threshold and generate the uh, digital output. So we need to click on the into and when we click on the into then it will show all the local variables and we can just map it. So very intuitive and same thing we will do it on the outside and click on the out and then we can select the local variable out. So it will be getting added here. So in this way we can uh, write in this particular data and then when we deploy the code, we can see the values is coming directly from the IO channel, what we were seeing earlier and then it will be also showing in the FBD, FBD editor. Okay, so it is in run mode and now we can see the data is coming and the out is getting true because my threshold is zero. So in one is basically 191, which is greater than zero. So same logic we can, or the same IO we can read also directly in the node read. Okay. So let's go back to the main page and we can we will go to the node read. When we click on the node read, it will open the dashboard. And here the flow diagram we can create. So by default, Wedmuller, in the Wedmuller PLC, they have given all the nodes which are the, needed for the IO connection. So we need to drag and drop the particular nodes and configure the variable which we want to read it from the IO channel. So in this particular, I'm reading the RTD. Now I will put a debug node and then when we connect, uh, the process data and the status data both are coming. So the first one is the status and the second one is the process data. And when we deploy the code, then we can see that the data in the debug node, it is showing in the particular structure, value, timestamp. So all those things will start coming. Okay. So we have the two options, either do it in FBD or using node red because we are talking here about the node. So in the node red, also we can directly utilize the IO and use it for our purpose to write the logic and even send it to the devices, other devices where we want to. So we can here, I'm just writing a small logic for see, showing you how we can read the memory, uh, CPU, 
uptime, all those things, how exactly it, it can be shown. So we can read all the data of the uh, PLC directly in the node read. So all the nodes are already pre-configured into the node read in the Metamuller PLC. So I have put, and when I deploy this particular code, so we can see that all the details for the CPU memory uptime, everything is coming here. So another option which we have here is the OPC UA. So we can also configure OPC UA. So whatever the variable we have defined in the global, it will show here in the list. And we just need to select and enable the OPC UA as a run. And authentication type, we can provide what we need. So allow, I'm allowing anonymous also so that we can connect it. So I'm using uh, UA expert to connect with the OPC UA. We need to provide the IP address. So we need to create the URI and then we can connect with the OPC UA part. So the PLC is having OPC UA server and we are using UA expert as a client. So once we configure it in the UA expert and connect, then we need to turn the certificate and then we can see that it is connected and inside the structure, we will go to the RTD and when we drag and drop it, we can see the value here. So in this way, in this particular PLC, we can even configure the OPC UA server and client model. So we can read, we can read the data directly on the OPC UA also. So either through node read or you, if we want to expose the data over OPC UA, then we can also utilize that. Another feature means as it already has the inbuilt Docker, so which is using port 14 or IO. And we can utilize this particular to install any of the container directly. So we don't have to uh, do it from the backend or from the shell commands. So we can directly utilize this container io dot io to install any of the uh, container. So these are the basic uh, features which are there in this particular PLC and we can utilize. So as you can see nowadays, there are a lot of PLC which are coming with an order to install. So we can even take the advantage of those PLCs to utilize it for the IoT purpose. So right now I am not connected to the internet, so I, it will not uh, get installed, but I'm just showing all the steps how we can do it. One of the good feature which I found it in this that uh, if you are seeing all the IO guard credit, so we, we can directly see the manual already in the build. Okay, so we can directly click on the card and we can see the manual and we can find all the details for this particular card. Yeah, that's all for this particular tutorial. Thanks for watching. That's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.